This field will run away for four. Nice leap time by Shea Hope, and this is a wonderful start to his innings and to the series. Great timing by Shea Hope, but ably assisted there by Camino Mendes, just in front of Square. Allows the first runs on the board for the West Indies. Elegantly played. She Hope. Wow, easy on the eyes. Such a classy player. Ends the over with a boundary. 18 without loss. Firmly struck. Didn't go all the way through with the stroke. It was just a check push down the ground. Typical Evan Lewis style. Class, great timing. Both ways of the bat. He just times this one. Bat past the bowler. For boundary. Outside edge. Looked as if he was in control of this shot. Just opened the blade. Opening the blade slightly. Perhaps got that maybe a bit finer than he intended. But he gets his fourth boundary, Shea Hope. To the offside, drilled by Evan Lewis, given some length that he usually loves, and quickly onto that one. Another boundary for him. This time he's in control, gets the connection and gets another boundary to end the over on a high. Expensive over from Mendes to start with eight from it. Eight overs gone, 43 without loss. I mean, the West Indies weren't spotless in the field. They had a few bloopers and for the second time for Sri Lanka, in this brief period of the innings, we've seen a couple of errors. Elementary, really. Gunatelika should have done much better with that. They're very disappointed. Will the bowler be as well? The new one, Pradeep. Straight to him. And at this level, you expect to get something behind it. wonderful timing it's not as fast across that side of the ground I think as in the western side but enough pace to get it for four beautiful timing from Shea Hope the 50 comes up for the West Indies yeah, he's showing good touch here from Shea Hope really elegant wristy takes that one from the stumps and just works it through the one side didn't try to over hit it and was on the move as well and that's the key just making sure that you're in control of the shot. A Super 50 tournament. Again, elegance from Shea Hope. He just leaned into that one, found the gap again, and good enough timing. Such elegance from him. And bowling left-handed. Talked about him being ambidextrous. Able to switch deliveries in the over if you want to. Glorious from the right-hander. Gets his 18th half-century in one-day cricket and continues his rich vein of form against this opposition. Certainly was a pleasant stroke. Good stride in and just caressed it just to the left of the fielder at mid-off for four. Goes for the big one, Evan Lewis. You just felt that this was on the cards. And it's a massive hit. Top of the stand here at the Sir Richard Stadium. First six of the match. Evan Lewis has had all these processes in his cricket before. He wasn't fluent at the start. But if you spend time at the crease, generating power and boundaries are not a problem for most West Indian batsmen. 
That's a big hit. Our great friend sitting next door, Sir Kirtley Ambrose, when we played together in the West Indies team with his deep baritone voice. During a partnership like this, whether it was between Chandapol or Lara, you'd hear him saying, gentlemen, finish the job. Don't leave it for anyone else. Edge that we will challenge the boundary. Chase one for Sandakan. Brings up his landmark, his half century, Evan Lewis, his ninth one day international half century to go along with his three centuries. So both these batsmen get into that half century just like the Sri Lankan predecessors in the first innings. This time he gets a short one and another six for Evan Lewis, the second in the over. Ends the 24th over on a high, 119 without loss. Inside out. Might have gone all the way as well. Just one bounce into the rope. Such elegance and class from she Hope. How often will we say that in this match? Let's look at how he, he just gets the left side outside the line of the ball to make room for the bat to come through. Such a complimentary player. Power not needed. Brilliant, brilliant timing from Evan Lewis. He finds the gap, gets the boundary. He's getting quite a bit of this. So just for now, I wouldn't mind him saying, hey, let me just put that sweep away. I'm in control and I have other options that are low risk. He was dismissed inside edge, close to the stumps goes away to the boundary for four. A serendipitous boundary here for Shea Hope. Yeah, it's just a change of, of pace in bowling. So Lewis and Shea Hope. And Shea Hope trying to, to force that with a little bit too much power. And talk about speed. That is a thunderbolt from Dushmanta Chamira. No fault of Lewis. Brace front leg, scattered stumps. A shake up the head from Evan Lewis. He appreciates a good delivery. 141 kph. Firing in. Full and straight. And you must appreciate when you've been outdone. Chamira, brilliant effort. To make the breakthrough here for Sri Lanka. Evan Lewis, well played 65. West Indies 143 for one. Big shot from Darren Bravo. He gets the connection this time. The massive blow here at the Survey Richard Stadium. His first six of the match. Darren Bravo has attempted this shot quite a number of times in Santa Can's previous over. This one he makes good enough connection. Hitting that one 86 meters over Roy Long on. Such a good flow of the bat, Darren Bravo, a natural six-hitter he is. We've seen this so many times from him. He just keeps his eyes, his head over that ball, keeps his shape. Like you mentioned, Shakira, he tried it a few times previously and didn't make the connection. Well driven down the ground from Darren Bravo. Elegant shot, he gets to the boundary. So classy when he's going well. Look at that. Wonderful timing. Gets himself into a very good position. Hit that one on the up, back past the bowler. Starts outside of his crease, Darren Bravo. Good full face of the bat. Just raises that front elbow. Whipped away to the one side in the gap from Shea Hope. Good bit of timing and placement, and another boundary for him. No one for Deet has persisted with this line of attack since he's come back in for his second spell. Shea Hope, very well balanced, 
just deciding to whip that one over my wicket. Over the top from Darren Bravo. Has enough on it. Another boundary for him. His second of the match to go along with the six. Bravo just hitting that one well enough to clear the field out mid off. Two bounces into the boundary. The second four of this over so far. The West Indies are cruising. Goes for a big shot and gets it. Over long on and moves to 99. Shea Hope, his first six of the innings. Wonderful hit by Shea Hope, showing some versatility. And there it is, the moment for Shea Hope. His 10th one day international century, only the 8th West Indian to get to that milestone. And it's been a brilliant effort from him. Really showed that control, maturity throughout this innings. Much deserved century for Shea Hope. Nothing short of what you expect from a player of such calibre. He's dominated throughout this entire game. Bringing out his 10th ODI century. What a knock from this young man. And that was the moment being applauded by his coach, his captain, really a special moment for Shea right Hope, his 10th one day international century. Well driven and that goes away to the boundary. Another bit of misfeeling there from the Sri Lankans, but good timing. Don't think that that ball has the timing to get to the boundary on the initial look, but it just accelerates off the face of the bat. Clean him up. That man again, Shamira. Just like he did Evan Lewis, the other opener for West Indies, Shea Hope, has been castled. End of a brilliant knock from the West Indian opening batsman, acknowledged by his opponents for his brilliance was another excellent delivery. She Hope clearly disappointed that he was unable to see his side home. But a brilliant bit of bowling playing inside of the line, deceived by what looks like a slower delivery. All stumped, castled. Good job by Chimera. But a brilliant knock by She Hope. It's 100. He goes for 110. Bandara, away for four, nine to get. A very loose first delivery from Bandara and just swatted away behind square for four by Jason Mohammed. That is why it's so important, Bish, for the West Indies to win this first game because of the history behind them. It simply means that Sri Lanka has got a lot of work to do they got to win the, next, the second and third to win the series, which is going to be tough. Right. Sunday for the final ODI, which will be another day game. Remember that. 9.15 a.m. local time build up again. Not to be missed. Six runs needed. One hit away. Oh! Stifle the peel. Certainly has been a very disciplined but in this play by the West Indies today. That is game set and match to the West Indies off the bat.
of Jason Muhammad. Very professional performance in many ways. Great intensity and, of course, high quality from Shea Hope, Evan Lewis, and the bowling and fielding group. Certainly was a brilliant performance. Really planned the innings. They planned how they're going to get this 232 and executed well. Clinical, I will say. West Indies win by eight wickets here at the Savivian Richards Stadium to go one up in this three-match series.